Hi, I'm international publicist Michelle Tennant Nicholson, and I'm the chief creative officer at Wasabi Publicity. This is my Thrive in Five video series, and today I have Nelson Scott with me. I've got five questions in five minutes, so he's going to answer each in 45 seconds. By the way, it's a great way to practice pitching yourself, which is what I train people to do every day. So uh, welcome, Nelson. Thank you, Michelle. It's great to be with you. Yeah, thanks for playing and thanks for making a difference in the world. Thank you. Okay, so in 45 seconds, pitch me on why you make a difference. Well, the focus of what I do is to provide uh, people with the tools they need to hire, engage, and retain the right people. And in terms of engagement and retention, the key is to provide meaningful staff recognition. And I capture that in the acronym GREAT. Uh, great suggests that the G stands for the recognition has to be genuine. If it's not genuine, everything else is a waste of time. Um, it has to be relevant, tied to what the organization says is important. Uh, the better, the more explicit you are in explaining what the person did, the more powerful the message. Different people need to be recognized in different ways, so we have to find appropriate ways to recognize them. And finally, recognition doesn't improve with time, the more timely the recognition is, the more powerful the message becomes. Now, and then why are you credible? Why should I listen to you about, you know, amongst all the people in the world, why you, Nelson? Well, I have spent a lot of time studying staff recognition. Uh, I have uh, had opportunities to practice it. Um, I, I um, have spoken to thousands of people about staff recognition at conferences and other events. Um, and uh, I guess the fact that I have written a book on staff recognition adds some credibility as well. So why should people, uh, why are you credible and why should I pay attention to you? Well, I think first of all, I'm the author of Thanks, Great Job, which is a collection of ways to recognize people, talking about why it's important we recognize people and how we can do so effectively. Um, uh, it has, I have spoken to thousands of people at conferences and other similar events about staff recognition. And in my own life, I try to practice saying thank you and expressing appreciation on a day-to-day -day basis. And tell me about what your teaching and your message will make have me make a difference with the people that I interact with today, including my own staff. Well, with your own staff, I mean, with any staff, people like to know that they're valued as individuals and appreciated for what they achieve and uh, how they contribute to the organization. And I think that um, recognition is a tool to do that. And uh, I mean, people, people, why do people leave organizations? It's not about pay or uh, lack of perks or benefits. It's because they don't feel appreciated. People will take a pay cut to go someplace where they feel that they will be appreciated. You know, the next, I have another question. So at the end of the day, what's the most important thing? And then I'm gonna come back because I actually have a sixth question just for you, okay? So it might make it, it might make it in our Thrive and Five, we'll see. But at the end of the day, what's the most important thing, Nelson? Well, I think the most important thing is, um, is to, focus on, watch for what people are doing well, try to catch people doing their jobs well. And when you do that, let them know that you do that. Um, you know, you, you can't, this is something that you, it's almost like we make an emotional connection with people and uh, that, uh, you know, relationships, we build relationships and recognition becomes a relationship building tool. Um, people, as they said, stay with an organization because of those relationships, because they feel that the person they work with is someone they can trust, that they're credible, and most importantly, they, the person they're working with knows what they do and how they contribute. How can people connect with you? Well, I have a website, of course, and it's uh, www.greatstaffrecognition.com. Uh, my email address is nmscott at TELUS, and TELUS is T-E-L-U-S dot com. And um, I could say that and people can contact me by telephone, area code 780-232-3828.
Great. Now here's my sixth question. You know, we have a gig economy. And so there's a lot of people that fluctuate and do like the butterfly jobs, right? And I, I recognize that as a vendor, I'm most as a PR firm, my firm and my staff of 15, we fluctuate for vendors or uh, with companies, right? And some have been with us for, you know, 10, 15, 20 years and others come and go. And um, from, let's say an employee or a vendor's perspective, when we recognize that people aren't appreciative or nice or that we can't trust given the behavior they've shown, what do you have, what kind of advice do you have for the receiving end of that? Well, in terms of how we receive recognition? And then, uh, and then when we recognize that people aren't natural recognition givers and we can't trust them because of what should we part ways and find a new job? Well, that's really quite a good question. Um, Thank you. That's what, that's what occurred to me as you were okay. talking. I'm like, well, what about me? You know, like, you know. <laughs> well, um, I'll give you, uh, I'll maybe put this in context by talking about why I got involved in this. I had actually just finished a work, a day long workshop on how to hire the right staff. And someone said, that's all very interesting, but how do we keep them? It seems like a lot of work if they just come to work and turn around and leave a few weeks later. My response was, let them know they're appreciated. Um, and you know, I go back to an earlier point I made that, you know, the, the expression of appreciation has to be inspired by a sincere sense of appreciation for what they did. Uh, mm -hmm. Without that, you, you just can't do that. Nelson, you have really made a difference for me today. I have been hurting. We were recent. I personally was recently hired and fired in the same week. And I have gone over every single interaction that I did with that person. And I just really can't find anything that I would improve with all my years of human development and personal development and nonviolent communication and everything that I, you know, I was like, there's nothing that I did that could have impacted this relationship. And what you just said right there is that I can see that in business, some people work so quickly that they do not make that human connection, that they're all about the end goal and that 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 relation, the relationship that I afford my dog is not always given in business. I train a dog by focusing on the behavior that I want and ignore the behavior that I don't want. That's how we train dogs. And that's not happening all the time in a business relationship. And I thank you today for this message. How wonderful. I really appreciate you today, Nelson. Thank you. Thank you, Michelle. And if you also enjoyed this interview today, please share it. Thri hashtag Thrive in five.